Welcome. Welcome to Snook Radio's Retro Lounge. Yes. Well, what are we doing this week? Well, last week, the wheel picked us puzzles. <clears throat> so we're going to be looking at um, a few puzzles. And it's it's my New Year's resolution to not try and fit as many games into each episode. So... Um, yeah, let's see how that goes, shall we? So we're covering seven consoles this week. Um, and we're covering them over nine games. So, at least one of these we've played before, but I like it. So we're going to play it some more. Um... Oh, we've got a proper weird combination. I partially prepared this after our first puzzle. Um, so some of these were bounced out of the last episode of puzzles. And um, you be having a look now. So let's have a look. Let's show, how, how should we... I don't know why I bother looking because I always end up doing them by console because it's easier for the editing. For that that little little icon that isn't there at the moment. Um yeah. So without any further ado then, let's go to the screen. Ooh. And and then we'll wonder why the chat's not working. Cuz it should Weird, isn't it? Um, I can't. I can't not do now. I've got to. I've got to type test into chat and see if it appears on my screen. Oh, and it does. It does. Good. I am glad. At least we know. Uh, okay, so we're starting with the Game Boy, the good old Game Boy. Um, Game Boy Color, in this case. Um, big hello to Naughty Cluster and uh, Springs from Salt in the chat room. Oh, can you hear it? Enough, enough. Let's not mess around. Let's get playing, shall we? So, let's get you an open MU window. And this is well, <laughs> what we're playing here is Microsoft the six in one puzzle collection entertainment pack yep so I wonder how many of the oh it's a game boy in it it's a game boy it's a game boy let's do that instead oh yeah right on um So we've got, as the name would suggest, six games. Now I'm not, we're not going to play all of them, because that would make our list more than 11, which is more than we normally play. So let's start with Dual Chase, because it's at the top, and then we'll let chat pick the next one that we play. So, chat, if there's any one of those other five that you fancy having to play, then um, drop it in text and we'll have a look. Okay, we have a winner, Rat Poker. Rat Poker's next. Okay, so what's this? What game is this then? Okay, so I'm a little... Okay. 
Excuse me. Okay, so I can only travel on... So it looks like I'm on blue and I can't travel, but I can travel on pink here. So, right. So this is a walky round collecty things type game. Oh bugger, I missed a blue. I'm gonna have to come back for that then, aren't I? waiting for something to go wrong. So what are the diagonal things then? Are they damaging? They don't look damaging. points for getting oh ticky noise there was a ticky noise okay now we've got spinny clocks so these look easy enough okay oh so far so good are the clocks good or bad? Uh, I'm getting points for them. I need to avoid the exit then, I guess. Um, okay. So, I need to do some pinking now, don't I, because, right, so I have to come all the way back around here again, and then pink, uh, pink, Okay, I think we're getting the gist. <laughs> he says. So I'm feeling like I probably want to avoid that bomb. I don't know why I get that feeling. What have we got here? Oh, oh. Oh, it's locked. Right. Oh, in that case, do we do we need? Doesn't look like there's any way to unlock it, so I wonder. Okay, so I can't put that bomb anywhere down anywhere. Oh, and I can't get off. Okay. Just, just heard the buzzy, the buzzy noise. I don't really know what it does. Okay, so we've got a dual one here, so we can move on to the blues. And each one of those blues leads us into. And leads us out, that's good. Alright. Where's the exit again?
Oh no! How long do I have? I don't see... Nothing worse than a ticking clock and you're going, ooh! So, the bomb seemed pointless. Here's where it starts getting interesting. Because there's no way into that, so I need to get into that from a uh, from somewhere else. How am I going to get into that? Keep going around in a circle, is it one of those? No, it's not, because I'm stuck. Okay, so. So, for Nutty Cluster's benefit, what's happening is you're the little walkie fingers. You have to pick everything up, but you can only travel on the. The colour that you're on. And like now, if I push up, there's no way for me to go or down or right. I can only go left. And that takes me to the next one of that colour. Which means, if you look at the... If you look at the gem that's to my top right, I need to find a way of getting into it. And that looks like I could do... Nope. Ah, oh, you bastard. So, I need to... See, now I've got to the top one. I should be able to get to that gem. No! No! Ball. So the split one is how you get from one colour to the other. So I'm on light. I'm on the light colour and this has got both colours so now I can walk on the dark colour but I can no longer walk on the white colour um ok 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 so that's a bugger I need to find a way It's not that one I need So I'll come back to this one That one That one Down to that one Right to that one Okay No, I need, to, I need to see where the other one is now. It's right down there. So, I need to find... Right. So... Now then. But now... There you go. See? Simple. So I, I can only imagine it's going to get more and more complicated. Because now we've got... Right. Oh, i got a key. Interesting. I might be able to open something now. Oh, they're open. Fair enough. So, see, Ukraine flag. Gets all the yellows. And then, this yellow one's got a little bit of... 
Aquamarine. Yeah, I didn't actually see where the exit was. It's there, right. We need to be on... Um, Okay, so we'll just do one more and then we will um, obviously restart and we will find out what rat poker is because you asked for it. Okay, so now then. Nope, I need to get on to a colour, don't I? Shit. So, I can get onto pink there. But there's no point. And I can't get to that because that's a. Keys. I should have gone the gems as well, shouldn't I? There we go. So I'm not really sure how you'd get back out. Um, that was Jewel Chase. And our uh, moderator extraordinaire wants to see Rat Poker. Q three or more rats. To let them walk down the exit. Catch them with the trap to sort. What? Right, so it feels like lemming seed, but how do we how do you move around? I don't Oh. Pause works. But none of my buttons do. So I'm doing something with the red button. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, 
Okay. Um, what I'll just like to point out again that it's picked by Nutty Costa, your moderator extraordinaire. Oh, yeah, turd. So we've got three. We've got three orange ones there. Ah, okay. I've just swapped an orange one for a bleeding orange one. This is complicated. Oh, I'm taking them out of the sequence rather than putting them in the sequence. Rebel scum. Come on, this has got to be a not got my brain round it thing, hasn't it? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Two oranges. Promising that. So if I take that blue one. Oh, why didn't that take... Should I get four? All right, all right. No, turd. So now we've got four reds. Ooh. Need to get that orange out. See, so the problem is when you've got a lot of them, you do end up taking one out for. Ah, that worked in my favour, that one. Got some oranges somewhere. than one trap. <laughs> Shit. No, I want to keep them out, don't I? Nope. I want to for the cinema. This is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Got too many mice! Too many mice! Three then. God damn it. I think the phrase rat bastard has never been so relevant. There you go, that was the uh, Microsoft 6 in 1 puzzle collection on the Game Boy.
Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to the Nintendo DS now. We have problems with the DS occasionally. In fact, let's move us on to here. So we've got a vertical screen to play with. Uh, but it has a touch screen, and sometimes the touch screen does things that you need a stylus for, and um, we're emulating, so we don't have a stylus. Well, there we go. The folks at Mini Mario Toy Company have announced the grand opening of Super Mini Mario World, a theme park based on their runaway hit toys, Mini Donkey Kong, Mini Toad, and Mini Peach. And, and here comes the fighting opening, I did all Mario with his VIP guest, VIP guest Pauline for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Oh no. That was quite the close up of Pauline's boots, then. Nintendo, Nintendo. Are you, are you suppressed? Okay, let's see. Okay. So I assume we've got to get these guys out of there. Oh no! Okay, so a bit lemmingsy. any life or anything why have I gone a silver star what's what 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 <sighs> right so they need to go along it Ooh. okay so Gonna walk on here, they're gonna bounce on there, and they're gonna go up there. All right, so I don't know how we can avoid one of them going astray. Let's click on, see what happens. Okay. So we need to do something here, don't we? Um. Oof. Okay. So now we need to... We left one of them, didn't we? How do you make them? A... 
Oh, what have I done now? Okay, my buttons don't control Mario's. Blaming the buttons, woman. I'm just saying. I've clicked him and I don't know how to restart him. Bugger. not doing it. Let's try, shall we? So um, what we'll do is So you see, the thing with puzzle games is you have to spend a little bit of time thinking about them, don't you? So, if we put them in there, like that, we go back this way and we start him and start him. Go. That's right. That's better. Oh, we got a gold one there. Right. So we're going to have to learn how to make them jump, aren't we, cos? And it's highly likely one of them is going to die here. There's no point in me saying there with my mouse, cos you can't see my mouse. So... Do we need to start with one of these and make a jumpy jumpy? Okay, it's not that. Jump on here. on that well none of my buttons are a jump button neither is my up left and right do the scrolling when I hit them with the mouse they just stop 
until the other one walks into it. So the only thing we haven't started is this one here. So. Oh, and he's just going to go home. Fart face. Okay. Well, they don't climb on each other because once I... Oh, I've clicked them both and frozen them both now. But when you click on one and the other one's moving, if it runs into it, it just starts it up again. to learn how to make them jump on this, don't we? Because they have to. Because there's nothing we could do with the, the gold one, is there? Can't make them jump. And now frozen them both. Oh, stupid. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure the chat room are working on solutions. Um. But Naughty Cluster is googling away to find out how you use the springy things in Mario vs Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis on the DS. I'm sure that's what she's doing. Um, uh, well, we've, we've, we've locked and we have to try a reset. Retry. Retry. Okay, so if we just... Start that one for now. <laughs> Mario vs Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis I gotcha, don't worry, I gotcha I think. Let's just see about that. Okay. They both died horribly, but we've got to jump out of them. That's what she said. So, can I make... So, for jumping, you have to click and hold and swipe upwards with your stylus. And I know you won't. You'll already be looking before I've told you this. Oh, right, how's this guy going to get across? Is he going to have to... Can he sit on that guy? He can? Alright. get him off
Right, can I just leave him there then, and then wake this fella up? Now, what about that in the middle? We need to... Whoa, whoa, bugger. Okay. Not sure how you get those that card. So like when he stopped there, I just I have to tap him and move him to the one side. Well, every every retro lounge is a learning experience. One more. See how we get on. Okay, so this is the walkie on the guys bit. What's this way? Okay, right, so, then, they all have to come this direction. Right. So, do we... them from there to put them here and wake this guy up no 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 come back come back come back all right so we've got I'm not going to be able to get that M now, am I? Yes, I can. Okay. And now we've cleared all the space. It should be a clear run for this guy. Completed five levels. That sounds like a fair, a fair crack of the whip for uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong Two. Um, so 
let's move back and have a look at um, some of our other puzzles, games, games, puzzles, games, puzzles. Um, let's have a look at the Sega Mega Drive. Yes. Um, certainly fits the telly that we've got. I have so many sources on these uh, on these screens now. Um, okay, so this is called the Lost Vikings, and I'm not sure if it's going to be a true puzzler or or what. Uh, indeed, I'm not long, sure how long we'll be playing it for, but it was in the list of um, great puzzle games. And I thought I'd pick it on the uh, on the Mega Drive for Fluffy Lamb's sake. Um, so, let's see what we've got. My name is Eric the Swift. I can run like the wind and leap tall huts in a single bound. Oh yeah, it's got a bad feeling about this. Ah, right. So at the moment, I only appear to have one button. the question mark oh oh C button I don't have a C button I've only got four buttons I don't have six all right so it's appears quite platformy at the moment oh do I need to go up there even though it says exit just there I can only jump though I can't uh, Right. Well, he looks like my mate. Can I? Nope. Nope, I can't. All of us must reach. Oh, yeah. Swine bag. Press start and left or right to switch to my buddies. All right. All right. I'm trying. Right, so. We need to find the other guy, though, don't we? So this is obviously the fighter, dude. Yeah, do I have to go up there? Can I? I do have to go up there. That was very disappointing. Maybe the jumpy guy needs to be... What did it say? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa! No! Well, that was shit! Hey, look, when all the rest of them die. Looks like he puts his shield on his head. It's not very good, is it? So, I assume they're lost in time or something, seeing as we're on a spaceship. Yeah, yeah, they died. Valhalla. Oh, we're doing it again, are we? All right, we know what we're doing this time. Now, do you think? Oh, 
Unfortunately, I don't have a weapon. No, I don't have a gun. Okay, so it's getting, giving me Thimbleweed Park flashbacks, this switching between all these characters. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. We're all at the exit. Oh, are you joking me? Password, great tea. So we have to, we have to get our things then. Guys, only of use if someone's dropping on his head. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. So, is there a switch then that we can turn these off? Missing my um... ah, I can shoot them off. All right. shoot that do you think I can do you think I'll die if I touch it maybe not it's a helpful thing and we came from this way didn't we yeah all right Hey, get off my left. Oh, now I shot them earlier on and they... Look. Oh. Ah, the red button, that's what we're shooting. I see. Now what? Oh, okay. What bomb? Where's the bomb?
this is this a computer then? Don't know what else to try. <laughs> There's no red button there. And we've done everything up here. Can I go any further? Nope. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't rightly know. So we have to come back down here. Come on, we won't have to. We missed anyway. Alright, so we've been in these two places. And we started here, so. got to be going in the right direction. Yeah, I know, but where are the bombs and how do we use them? I want to use it. How do I use it? Oh, I've just deleted it. Dog gone. Go, that was the Lost Vikings. Um, we're more of a gentle tasting on Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. We don't, um, we don't really have time to dig in and really look at these things. Um, one day we might have to possibly vote on things you'd like us to come back to and spend a long time on. However, if you know your startups, you know that we're going to be having a look at a Sega Saturn game now. Um, and this, technically, I mean, I suppose I should wait for it to start first before I tell you all about it, because um, it's the it's the Sega Saturn, it's the Japanese Sega Saturn style. So, you know, who knows what could happen in the next 10 minutes. But this, this game could have perhaps been, um, we might not be playing at all, who knows? There we go. So this is the Sega Ages Column Arcade Collection. And, you know, I feel columns 
might be a bit Tetrisy. I I appreciate that. Um. But it is a puzzle game. And we're going to have a quick look. So I did spend a lot of time playing columns in my youth. On my um, Sega Game Gear. I was a big fan of the Sega Game Gear. Even though it was blurry as hell. Once you got a bit of speed going. Columns 97. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, we played easy. Been a long time. Just putting it out first. Holy moly, I wondered what was coming down there then. Um, so, different from um, Tetris, as in you only have this single shape, um, and it's colour matching rather than shape matching. So it is a different um, strategy from from Tetris. Uh, diagonals do work too, but I don't often look or see diagonals. <laughs> Tits. Oh, oh. I've let it all get too high. Oh. <coughs> Grading report. That must be must be Japanese for shite would be my guess I think we should have another another go don't you maybe play one of the other columns before we leave Pad there and it just, just a little quick. Huh, was that a diagonal? Yes, it was. Oh, 
that could have been a There we go. Diagonal. Oh, four diagonal. Connect four. Oh, now they've started moving a bit fast. Shit. Could soon be dead. Oh. Nice. Can I have more of them, please? I was building all them up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look, Nutty Cluster was playing the original columns all over Christmas. See, I got a grade in a five that time. Oh no, I was trying to put, trying to pick a different game. Oh, there's no way of quitting out once you start it. I imagine they're all going to be very similar, but while we've, um, while we're talking about it and running it, we might as well have a look and see what the other columns zai zai are. Got a couple of these Sega Ages titles. I'll have to have a look at the other ones and see what they are. Shall we look at stack columns? Yeah, I like the way it applauds you for making that choice. Ooh, yeah, well done. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's not sinister at all. It's only a game of columns. Las Vegas. Right. Fighting then. Assad. Battle columns. More original sounds as well. Gonna hoof me with some in it. Eat that. Hmm. Hmm. See.
Ah oh ouais, il y a Poké. I mean, he is just a monkey or an ape. So, is this it for, for Las Vegas? There we went. Oh, oh, Richard the Terminator. Okay, Dick. I mean, it says I have the unfair advantage of being a computer already. Must be Japanese for you the bomb, I'm guessing. I don't think we need to play Macau. I think uh, we've seen columns. We'll be... Um, George. George is a magician. But we won't be able playing columns with him because um, wait, it's time to move on it's time to move on from the Sega Saturn to the uh, Sony PSP now in uh, in Puzzles 1 a few months ago we played the first uh, Loco Roco and it was so good I had to um, I had to download the um the soundtrack because i enjoyed it uh and we're gonna have a look at loco roco 2 but it'll be very similar so we won't be playing an awful lot of it um i just don't want to not play it and we have four no three three important counting lesson there three psp titles um because there's just something cool about playing some PSP games. Uh, so let's start with Loco Roco 2. Kind of a puzzler, as in you puzzle how you're going to roll all these things and get as many as you can down to the bottom of the hill. Um, and it's certainly classed as a puzzle game. So. Let's get this super wide screen. There we go. And let's have a listen. Let's enjoy the music of Loco Roco. Might even turn it up just a tiny bit. Go. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a physics one. It reminded, it made me think of World of Goo, which I did try and get onto tonight. Um, by emulator. Oh. I can't split them. There we go. Stop worrying at all. Ready? 
Oh, it's been on a diet. Probably meant be right back, just off to get fat. Oh, bugger. Well, I did say we weren't going to be playing it for a long time. You got a taste of it. I wonder what's going on there. Bloody technology. Am I right? Am I right? All right, there we go. It's gone. Um, we're going to move on to Puzzle Quest, Challenge of the Warlords. Now I feel that we might have played something like this last time. So this could also be what we might start it up and go, oh, hang on a minute. Play this already. Um, if it is the case, I don't understand why it's moved into Puzzles too. So... Let's find out. Many say that the universe moves in never-ending cycles. Cycles of life and death. Cycles of war and peace. Cycles of light and darkness. If Ooh, that were true, then like the lands Stephen of the Argus, had an upgrade. had peace for Tiny too upgrade. long. Their kingdom had... Yeah, yeah, story, story. Now, nah, look, this, this doesn't look like a puzzle. We're not here to play RPGs, we're here to puzzle! No quests. Do we need to... it says get quest, didn't it? Got to go to Syr Syria? Syria. 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 Ah, the one with the cloud and purple lightning. Always good. Um, I see no puzzling. It's puzzling that there's no puzzling in a game called Puzzle Quest. Um, but, um, yeah, bugger that. Let's move to our final PSP game now. This is <sighs> hopefully well named the PlayStation Network Collection Puzzle Pack. Oh, we're not playing uh, Sudoku. There are only, only options. Look, this, this, this isn't a pack 
Three games does not a pack make. Oh. Well, I think we know what this is going to be. This is going to be some sort of pattern matching, colour matching, assuming it works. It's not looking promising, is it? All right, let's try it again. Let's try Lemmings, because um, Naughty Cluster did shout up. Lemmings! Lemmings! Now we did play Lemmings on our last puzzle game. I think it was an older version than this. So, <coughs> excuse me, these are all selectable with the shoulder buttons, and the cursor doesn't go any lower than that. Floaters. Okay. We assume floaters are selected already. Yes, good. See, these are the, lemming, le the lemmings, the levels that I can play okay. Lockers. Wrong way, fella. Oh, whoa there. Oh, you. No, 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 no.
you think there'd be some sort of... I'm sure there used to be a speed-up thing, where it's like... Oh, what's well, like... Does that mean I can finish and it'll accept it? All right. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, no, I said, yeah, that's fine. Miners and climbers. <laughs> climbers. So where are the miners? I've only got one. Oh, referee. Right, okay. So what are we supposed to be doing here then? Let's uh, get some digging done. Dog dab it. Come on, you know I've sorted it. Slide. Okay, we'll do one more level. Then we'll uh, we'll call it quits on this one. Bashes. Can they bash through that? Let's hope. They can. Tits. No, no, are they going to come back? Oh, they might. Get used to that. Yeah, you finished. They're all gonna live. You fast forward through all the rest of the shit. Um, but we said we were only doing one more, didn't we? So there you go. That was Lemmings on the PlayStation Network Collection Puzzle Pack with Sudoku and some 
colour matching game. All right, we're down to our last two games. We're going to swap them around a little bit because we're going to end with an old favourite that we've played before. Um, but before that, we're going to have some turbo graphics or PC Engine, depending on where you're from. And this one, this one's called Puzzle Boy. So you would assume it's going to have some puzzle elements to it, would you not? You would, wouldn't you? So. Let's see what we've got. Oh. I'm just selecting the first option. Oh, now we might have played this. I don't know. I don't know if, if I've played it. Oh. Nope, back, back. Okay, so you got to get to the steps, obviously. Like that. Oh, I don't know if I'm pressing forward or back. Oh, here we go. Okay, so then. Nope. Okay, I've fudged it up straight away, haven't I? So let's reset. Okay, so there are puzzles involved. <coughs> I do feel we might have played something like it. I don't remember what it's called Right. Come on. What's going on here? <laughs> so, you can only do that. Make him a brainer.
Let's see, why do I feel that that needs to... Ooh. Nope. Just do this last one and then we'll um, call it a day. He says. Right, if I push that middle one right in, it's going to block the turning of the other ones. Can I? That has to go in for me to get past the yellow ones. But then I can't move any of them. All right, I wonder. Ah, oh. oh, still doesn't help with these, though, does it? to do that one taking suggestions from the chat room once that's in there there's no way of getting it out is there but these have got to push Starting to get on my nerves. Uh. It's gonna be so much stupid, eh? Chat room is flummoxed. That's the only move that one can make. Same here, can't move. Now can't move them because they're locked by. So if I push that one down here, can I do that? All right, don't quite know what benefit that is. Because I need to turn them both. Oh, oh. 
Welcome to Daddy. There you go, chat room. That's how you do it. really any logical idea how I did that I just kept walking into walls until they spun round okay it has to be this so that's the only option there Can't move that, because that yellow one. So we need to do something with the yellow one. And I've just trapped myself in, so let's start again. It has to go all three, because I can't get out otherwise. To... Ah. See, I feel we should somewhat down this way, but There's no other options. So it has to be that, and it has to be three times, else I can't get out. So it has to go into there. There are no moves at all here. So this is the only move for there. I can't move that up like that. But then that just traps me in. But there aren't any other moves. Well, do you know what? I'm not too proud to give up. Got a scratch. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna crack open some PlayStation One to end tonight's puzzle extravaganza, and we're gonna play one of my favourites. And yes, you've seen it before on Retro Lounge. And no, I don't care. We're having a bit of zoop. Oh, yeah. Zoop, choopy doop, choopy doop. It's uh, colour matching, shooting from the middle, jazzy score. Another game that I downloaded the soundtrack for. Um, so, I think we've played the Mega Drive version before. Um, ah. The legs comfy. That's say comfy, not comfy at all. But ah, oh, there we go. All right, see so a little blue triangle, and whatever you shoot, you turn into, and then you shoot that to get rid of them. So red. You see, we're red triangle now, so we can pick up reds. Oh, remove reds, I should say. And 
and then let's do some greens. See, now I hit that green and there was a purple underneath, so I turned to purple. So I'm going to build up some purples there and I'll build up some greens there. Oh, I can build up some reds there. And now there's a red on its own down here, so I'm just going to red there. Get rid of all them. And let's purple, shall we? All right, there's blue, so let's get a stack of blues. And so on and so forth. Now the pad feels a little weird. I'm not blaming the pad, I'm just saying. Could be the PlayStation version of the uh, code. Ooh. I just did something. Wrong way, that way. Do need to get a bit of a green on now. Um, but I must say, PlayStation has a different soundtrack. I think they must have decided the youth of um, <coughs> the youth of the nineties needed a better soundtrack because I think the original Zoop was quite jazzy. Now, pop it. Oh, shoot.
Oh no, I'm going to die. And that's the thing about Zoom, Zoop, is um, you only get one life. So, there you go. Uh, that was Zoop. We're not playing a lot of it because we've played it before. And when we play it again, which we will inevitably do, then we will um, only play one round again then. Um, which uh, brings us very nicely to the end of tonight's show. Puzzle, uh, puzzle 2. Let's call it Puzzle 2. Let's play more puzzles. Something like that. Um, so we'll just do this quickly because I noticed that even though I haven't got that many games, um, we're still we're still bloody messing around with the two hour mark. What's going on? Here's the wheel. The wheel will tell us what we'll be what we'll be playing next week, um, unless it lands on horror. Uh, so let's have a spin. More Sonic the Hedgehog! Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog, the second um the second in our Sonic shows. So we'll go back and we'll look at what we played last time and we'll look at all the other Sonic the Hedgehog um games that we uh we didn't play the first time. Um so there you go. Let's go back to this one and say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us um, every week here at the Snug Radio Retro Lounge. Um, if you want, you can um, email us, email just, just there. Can you see? Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website, uh, snugradio.co.uk, uh, for all things Snug Radio. Um, we're also on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on TikTok, all those places. We are Snug Radio. Um, so like, subscribe, share with a friend, all those cool things that you can do. And um, once you've done all those things, uh, most importantly, share. Once you've done all those things, then join us on our Discord for lots of chat. All, all sorts of chat. It's not just retro games. Retro games does have its own section, but it's we've got some retro music going on. We've got the chat, general, just general shit that we talk. Um, so join us. Come and join us. And, um, you know, maybe one day we'll have a, a community game night and we'll all get together and play something, I don't know, Among Us or Jackbox games or so, something like that. So who knows? Um, but until then... Have a great week. We'll be back at the same time, same place next, next week in Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. I've been Math. Thank you. Goodbye.